It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood, a neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? I was just thinking, how could I make that shoe come slowly down? I've been thinking about slow motion. Mm -hmm. That means moving things slowly. Because I have a film of slow motion, different animals. We could try it with our hands. Try moving your hand very, very slowly. Pretend you're going to shake hands with somebody. Very slowly. You see a lot of things that you don't ordinarily see. If you move slowly like that. It's what babies do, you know. They put their hands up in front of their faces and even stop them for a while. Just look and look. Mm -hmm. Gives you time to to explore. Shall we try the film? It's a film about a dog and a horse and a gull, all moving very slowly. Yeah. Motion means movement, so slow motion would be slow movement, you see? Did you like that? Could you try moving like the seagull? Very slowly. Oh, here's the telephone. You could try lots of slow movements yourself. Hello? Oh, hi, Betty. Just doing some slow motion thing. Oh. Sure, be fine. Be very much interested. Okay, we'll be there in 10 minutes. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. That was Betty Aberlin. She said she's on her way over to Tro's workshop. 
They're working on some things for Chef Brockett's Bakery Soda Shop. They'd like us to come over in about 10 minutes, see what they're doing. Well, that gives us some time for make-believe and some ideas for make-believe, too. Let's get the trolley. Bob Tro could be the dog. Horse could be the horse. Who could be the seagull? Well, Lady Aberlin could be looking for one. They all could be looking for a seagull in the neighborhood of Make Believe. Okay, Trolley, we are ready. Neighborhood of Make Believe. Trolley, stop a minute. Trolley, I'd like you to meet Horse. Horse, this is Trolley. I know. Trolley, we were wondering whether you could tell us where we might find a seagull. Oh, okay, thanks anyway. I guess it's just not the right season for seagull. I know. What did you find out? Not very much, Daniel. I asked everyone at the castle, and then I finally asked Trolley. And Trolley hadn't seen a seagull around here for the longest time. Oh, well, if Trolley hasn't, boy, Trolley goes everywhere. I know. Who would know? Well, I'm sorry, horse. I thought we could find you a seagull without too much trouble. I know. Mm. Well, Bob Dog is asking Corny, so I'll go over to the platypuses now. Well, good luck to both of you. Thanks, Daniel. We'll need it. I know. Mm. Well, goodbye, horse. Bye, Lady Aberlin. Bye-bye, Daniel. Rinkus anatinas, Anna, 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 Ornithorinkus anatinas, Anna, Anna, Anna. Excuse me, Dr. Bill. Well, Lady Aberlin, what a nice surprise. And Horse is there with you. Yes, Horse, this is Dr. Bill. I know. Well, and I'm taking care of Ornithorhynchus anatinus today. Oh, is Elsie Jean all right? Oh, hi. she had some business to tend to in Westwood. Oh, I see. But may I help you with anything? Well, possibly so, Dr. Bill. We wonder whether you could help us find a seagull. Hey, well, what's his name? Oh, well, it doesn't matter what his name is. Any name would do. We're just trying to find one. Hey, well, what a lovely way to spend a day looking for a seagull. Yes. Can you tell us where we might possibly look? Oh, I haven't seen bill nor feather of one since I was last at the shore. If you do find one, bring it in for a visit. Beautiful creatures. I know. Thanks anyway, Dr. Bill. Bye-bye, <laughs> little Anna. <laughs> Ornithorhynchus anatinas, Anna, Anna, Anna. Ornithorhynchus anatinas. No luck yet, horse. I know. I certainly wish I could help you look for one. It's uh, it's just that I'm terribly busy right now. I understand, Corny. I guess Santa Claus gave you a real big order, huh? He surely did like my rocking chairs. I know. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he's, uh, it's a horse right there. <laughs> Sorry to scare you. Oh, he sure did. Any seagulls around here? Sorry, Lady Aberlin. I sure would like to help you look if I weren't quite so busy. Oh, well, I'm glad that your business is going well. Oh, so am I. I know. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, please turn on that drive shaft before you go, will you? Oh, sure thing, Corny. So much to do, I need extra power. <laughs> yeah, see ya. See ya, Corny. <laughs> Corny. 
clouds. Mm -hmm. What's that over there? Oh, it looks like a sparrow. No, I think it's a pigeon, isn't it? Might be a hummingbird. And there's a hummingbird. You're so fast. You sure are. I don't see a seagull in the group. In the flock. I know. Lady Lane Fairchild. She might have a seagull idea. Well, let's go find out. We will go to the museum go round. I know. Hey, why don't you let Horse ring the bell with his nose? Good idea. <laughs> Don't tell me, don't tell me I can tell by the sound of that bell that a horse was calling for me. Am I right? You're right, Lady Lane. Oh, Lady Lane, how did you know that? It was horse. Well, you're a special creature, you are. I know. I knew you'd say that. Uh, what do you three want? We want to find a seagull. Uh, when did it get lost? Oh, oh, it didn't get lost. We'd just like to find any seagull. We just want to see one. Oh, well, in that case... See this ball? Well, look carefully, because it's going to turn into a kind of seagull. A bird, anyway. catch any of those birds. I can't even catch one of those balls. Do you know why, Bob Dog? Why? Here, catch it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because it's only a film. I know. Well, what do you want for nothing? A seagull. Come on, let's get serious. Can't we think of where we might begin to find one? There must be some bird around here who could give you a tip right off the tip of its beak. <laughs> nice. Hey, nice. how about X the Owl? Oh, good idea. <laughs> yeah, give a howl for that owl dog. Okay. Yeah, good. Lovely. And we'll go to the tree. And see what you see. Maybe a seagull. Oh, how dull. <laughs> toot toot. Toot toot, Lady Lane. <laughs> well, how in the world are you all? <laughs> oh, just oh, fine, yeah. X, and Why? you? Oh, great. Why, you are horse. I know. I was just thinking about you, as a matter. <laughs> well, why were you thinking about us, eh? Well, I have this seagull that's sort of like horse. You have a seagull? <laughs> uh, yeah, why are you surprised? I mean, my seagull goes to the owl correspondence school just the way I do, and you see, any bird can be a learner in that school. X, all day long we've been looking for a seagull. Yeah, and he has one all this time. <laughs> oh, boy, a seagull. Well, he looked I'll, everywhere. I'll go get her. 
Okay. Oh, great. <laughs> sure. I imagine you've been looking, and I have. Well, I get it. <laughs> Oh, isn't that the limit I must this have time? gone past this tree. Twice or 50 times, maybe. Well, Here she is, oh. everybody. Oh, my. Here is Gull. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> she oh. I think she's beautiful. You are a beauty, Gull. Uh-huh. You expect her to talk? Well, doesn't she? Uh, you have to pull her string just like horse. Oh, what does she say? Just pull a string and see. Okay. You know. <laughs> you know. You know, she says. Uh-huh. I know. You know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You know. Oh, well, let's go show Trolley. Could Gull come with us for a little bit, X? Oh, sure. Have a good time, oh, you all. Oh, great. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thanks very much, X. Bye-bye. Come on, Gull. <laughs> Trolley. She knows. Trolley. Trolley, look. Look at the seagull, Trolley. You know. Bye-bye, <laughs> Trolley. Trolley? That horse and seagull are funny toys, aren't they? I know. You know. You could take a couple of your toys and put strings to them, if you want to, just for a little while. But you and I are human beings. We can say just what we think and just what we feel. Strings don't make us talk. Mm, there's the phone. Let's see who that is. Hello. Hi, Bob. Yes, we were thinking of coming over. Well, what is it that you're doing for Chef Brockett? Something interesting. So, well, we'll come over and see you're something interesting. All right. Goodbye. He says that Betty Aberlin is there, and they're working hard on their things for Chef Brockett. So let's go to Tro's workshop now and see that something interesting, okay? Come along. Come on in, Fred. I didn't take him off. Hey, something oh, interesting hi. is right. What are you doing? Well, you first. I'm painting. These chairs, let me show you how they work. They're really nice. They'll be for the soda fountain. Oh. And this just sits right in here. And then? Swivel chair. Yeah. Do you want to try one? I've got one that's... You want some help with that? Oh, that's all right. I've okay. got... There's one that's finished, Fred. Oh, that really looks nice. See, what? this got painted blue. Yeah. And this white. So you just finished one. It's dry. You're working Try on this, huh? Does it go around too? Yeah. Oh, it's, it doesn't even squeak. Nope, we put some oil on it. You know, when I was little, my feet wouldn't touch the ground on these things. It's very hard to move around. You could push yourself off from the soda fountain, though. Yeah, like that. Want to go around once? Sure. <laughs> go for a little spin. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Is this where the... Oh, is this ever nice? Aha, you finally noticed. Is this where the, the, the seats will be? On the other the... side, where the counter will be. Oh. Right there. This is for Brockett's Bakery tomorrow. Oh, he's going to have the soda fountain. Like this, you could just sit here and pretend that you're on your swivel chair. <laughs> Let's pretend we're going to make you a soda, sir. All right. Oh. What flavor would you like? Uh, root beer. Root beer? Mm -hmm. There it is right there. OK, a little root beer in there. You know, I've always wondered what these things look like inside. Could you take it out? I'll show it to you. See, it's a pump. Push here, and the flavoring goes up, up, Just and out. out. Mm -hmm. Of course, you'll have these things all filled with stuff, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's where the flavoring goes, right in there. Boy, is that a big thing. Well, that's a popular flavor. 
carry on with my soda, if you will. Yes, sir. Okay, we have the flavoring in there. Now we'll put some soda in. Now to mix it up real fine with the fine spray. You have that working. Yep. Some of the air. Could I do that? Sure. <laughs> Sometimes this flashes a little yeah. bit. Okay. Then you put the other one. All right. Ice cream. Let's see what else we need. Don't you use any of these? Well, this is water. Oh, plain water. Mm -hmm. And this is another kind of a soda, which I honestly don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest with you. But I think that's your soda, sir. Betty, do we have a straw for Mr. Rogers, please? Oh, just a minute. Uh, do you have any whipped cream on that? Whoop, whipped cream. There we go. Here's a straw. Thank you very much. It's as good for 10 as anyway. <laughs> oh, is it a good for 10 soda? There. Root beer. Is Thank there you, anything sir. I could help you with? Hey, wait a minute. I didn't notice that there were three sinks in there. Why are there three sinks here? There are three things. Three sinks here because this one is to wash yeah. with very hot water mm -hmm. soap. This one is to rinse. And this one is where they use a very highly potent, guess what? Sterilizer? Sterilizer, right. That's the last thing they do. Well, I like seeing that. Is there anything I could help you with? Let's see. I know. You could help us think of something really special, some kind of entertainment for the opening tomorrow. Yeah, we'll have to come up with something really special. This is really important. Oh, Brockett is really so excited about this. Yeah. You know? yeah. You'll have these ready by then, I guess. Yeah. Sure. Oh, uh, entertainment. Have you ever shown Betty that uh, pantomime old movie thing that you saw? Oh, the fast do? action thing? Yeah. Oh, show <laughs> no, me. I don't think. Yeah. Well, I need a hat. This clean? Yeah. Okay. Hat. Uh, old fashioned. Uh, Pretty wild you get going with that. Well, there's only one the there's only one thing, Joe. Uh what if we were to knock knock down the glasses and you know, we if could, we all went around We could do that around. We right went with knock that. down some glasses and that's out. But it's nice. What about some special music for the oh, you know, it's some good kind idea. of a combination? Who who could be the music? Eric Kloss. Eric Claus. He and his saxophone could help open up any place. I'm gonna... Oh, that's great. Call, call it. Sure. Okay. He usually takes courses, you know, at the school. Hello? Mr. Claus, this is Fred Rogers. Uh, is Eric there? Oh. Okay, well, I will. Thank you very much. He says he's not there right now, but that he might be back in just a few minutes. So I'll call him when I oh, get good. home, and I'll let you know. Thanks Great. for shaping up. Thank you Thanks. for calling me and showing us these things. Keep in touch, then. You bet. All right, Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Music. Huh? That's a great idea. Tomorrow will be a big day for Chef Brockett. And his friends want it to be a good day for him. You and I can help him celebrate, can't we? There's some food for you, fish. I think maybe I'll try calling Eric Kloss again. Maybe he's back from class now. Hello, Mr. Claus. It's Fred Rogers again. Is Eric there? Oh, thank you. He's there now. 
Hi, Eric. It's Fred. Well, Chef Brockett's opening a new part of his bakery tomorrow, and we wondered if you could add your music to the festivities. Good. Both of them. Oh, grand, if you can. Thank you very much. Oh, we'll see you there. Good, about this time. Okay, bye-bye. He said he certainly will come, and he'd like to try to get Johnny Costa and Joe Negri to come with him. Wow, we'll be hearing some great things tomorrow. Maybe we'll be eating some great things, too, tomorrow. You see, there'll be things that you can get from the bakery, and then things over at the soda fountain. It should be fun. If you're allowed, try to have something to eat beside you when we visit together tomorrow so we can all have something to taste together. All right? That'll be fun. It's such a good feeling to know you're alive. It's such a happy feeling you're growing inside. And when you wake up ready to say, I think I'll make a snappy new day. It's such a good feeling, a very good feeling, the feeling you know that I'll be back when tomorrow's new. And I'll have more ideas for you. And you'll have things you'll want to talk about. I will, too. Maybe when we're not together, you could try some pantomime the way Bob Tro does. Only try it very, very slowly. Slow motion. Mm -hmm. Could even try eating like this. I like you just the way you are. Mm -hmm. We'll be together again tomorrow. Bye. The people who gave the money to make this television visit are the people of the Sears Roebuck Foundation and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. This is PBS.